Hello, I'm Kevin Berger. The winter season provides a whole new array of experiences at the Minnesota Landscape Arboretum. From cross-country skiing to tropical indoor floral displays, the Arboretum is a year-round destination. Judy Homan is Marketing and Communications Manager for the Minnesota Landscape Arboretum and joins us for this segment of Newsmakers. Thanks for joining us, Judy. Thank you. Again, I think Arboretum people think about the flowers and the fall, autumn leaves, but a lot going on there this winter and every winter. You have to love winter living in Minnesota, so the Arboretum offers things to do outdoors as well as indoors. We have lots of winter trails for snowshoeing, cross-country skiing, even hiking on Three Mile Drive. And then indoors, we have special things like the tropical orchid tree display and more. We have a conservatory that's open year-round, too. I think we kind of hunger to see things that are blooming. Yes. And this winter, with the orchid uh, exhibit, orchid display, there's 500 different plants, all different colors. And just to come in and see all the plants in bloom does add a little bit of lift to winter. You also know if you've worked up some appetite in the cold, you also have uh, some uh, a different kind of uh, a food offering for people. For we visitors. do. We're offering for the first time Sunday suppers, the third Sunday of the month. So the B1 in February and in March, we've had them in past months. And it's just a really great time to be with family and friends. The menu offers classics, um, lots of favorite comfort foods, and it's served family style. So you can come with your family, with your friends, but then seated next door to you or across would be other families. And it's a great way to build community, especially during the winter at the Arboretum. You're in the midst of a capital campaign. Tell us how that's going. The Arboretum campaign is actually an initiative from the Arboretum Foundation. In over five years, the goal is to raise $60 million for not only new gardens and new venues, but just to help ensure the future of the Arboretum for generations to come. So, so far, $45 million has been raised. Wow. And you can see some of the projects that have been completed, such as the new entry lanes and gatehouse, right as you come into the Arboretum. It's more of a green gateway. There's added gardens, more lanes, that type of thing that will really improve the experience and entry into the garden. The community is really making an investment in the Arboretum. Why is this space so important to people, do you think? The Arboretum really acts as a, an in-town getaway, a resource mm -hmm. for the entire area. And as development increases, we're really this protected green space for garden lovers, for nature explorers, just to be outdoors too. So there'll be lots of featured garden displays, nature-inspired exhibits, a place where you can gather and really explore at your own pace. Talking about visitors who come for the pleasure of it, but there's also horticultural research. Maybe people aren't as aware of that. Can you tell us about what goes on at the Landscape Arboretum that has to do with research? The Arboretum's roots are really <laughs> based in horticulture. Mm -hmm. And so for many, many years as part of the University of Minnesota, there's been cold hardy research, cold hardy apples, grapes, um, woody plants, and part of the Arboretum campaign dollars are dedicated to that. So uh, spring and summer are still coming very quickly. What can we look forward to? Spring, 38,000 tulips plus flowering lilacs, crab apple blossoms. It's a must see. Mm -hmm. And this year will be better than ever. Summer, Nature Connects. It's an art with Lego bricks exhibit. So outdoor sculptures, you must come for all ages. Nature Connects in Legos. Always fun to, fun to visit the Minnesota Landscape Arboretum. For more information, here's their website. You can find out about exhibits and hours and that sort of thing. And that's it for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Kevin Berger. Thanks for watching.